consider this graph let us assume we run dfs starting from 2 then let's say we look at uh, 1 then we go to 3 then say 4 followed by 5 followed by 6 we can start from any vertex and let's assume we start from 2 and it is depth so we start listing neighbor then exactly one neighbor for each of them then when we cannot proceed any further with respect to 6 and we backtrack and check are there any unlisted neighbor of 5 and in this case for all of them we are done and now start drawing uh, the missing edges 4 to 6 there is a missing edge and uh, 3 4 is a tree edge 2 3 is there is a missing edge and 2 4 there is a missing edge that's all right so rest all covered now is 2 an articulation point no degree of uh, the root is at least 2 then it is an articulation point in this case it is not it is only 1 1 is not an articulation point there is a descendant which is connected to some ancestor so this is not an articulation point 3 and there is uh, a descendant which is connected to the ancestor so it is not look at 4 there are back edges incident on it but no back edge from 5 to some ancestor or 6 to the ancestor so 4 is an articulation point 5 is not 6 is not having any descendant so 6 is not fine so here is a graph uh, which is uh, exactly 1 suppose the graph itself is like this now you see that uh, this is an articulation point, this one is an articulation point, this one is an articulation point. So this is a path graph. Fine. And if you look at trees, so this one is an articulation point, this one is an articulation point these ones are not if you remove this the tree is disconnected if you remove this this part of the graph is disconnected from the rest and so on the graph itself is a tree so which means uh, if you run uh, dfs then first we will list one two three then we backtrack and then list four then five backtrack six backtrack 7 and then 8 ok and the way the DFS visits the nodes in this tree uh, that lab the labeling corresponds to the order in which we visit the vertices as part of DFS now you see that uh, it is a tree so which means it is connected and acyclic graph there are no missing edges because it is acyclic now clearly this one is uh, an articulation point because no back edge from descendant to ancestor this one is an articulation point uh, no back edge from descendant to ancestor similarly for this root is having degree at least to 2 so root is an articulation point in fact for trees all internal nodes all internal nodes these are all leaf nodes these are all internal nodes or non leaf nodes all internal nodes are uh, articulation points now you can ask uh, for a connected graph how many articulation points are possible If you look at this, you see that these two are not, you can always redraw this, right? You can redraw like this. 
this is an articulation point this one this one these two are not in fact uh, this tells you that except the end points rest all uh, articulation points you can ask is there a graph in which every vertex is an articulation point every vertex is a cut vertex answer is no all vertices cannot be then it is natural to ask what is the maximum number of uh, articulation points uh, possible and this graph is tight this tells you that uh, n minus 2 articulation points so in general uh, consider pn path on n vertices so 1 2 so on up to n all internal nodes n minus 2 in number they are uh, articulation points so how many articulation points are possible we can have maximum n minus 2 articulation points okay and it is tight graph on uh, n vertices i mean path on n vertices uh, as n minus 2 articulation points and path is a special case of a tree for trees all internal nodes are articulation points and all these leaf nodes are non articulation points so they are not cut vertices so leaves are not uh, ap fine okay so the concept of articulation points or uh, cut vertices they appear in the context of uh, reliable networks reliable computer networks so in the in the study of or in the design of reliable computer networks okay why suppose this is my campus network or this is my uh, say computer laboratory network so what this says is uh, a packet that flows from say 2 to 6 it has to go via 4 if the node or switch 4 fails then uh, this node is down which means this link is down this link is down all these links are also down that is equivalent to saying 4 uh, is a cut vertex if you remove 4 along with edges incident on it uh, the graph is disconnected meaning uh, no packet from 2 can reach 5 or 6 or this part of the graph is disconnected from this part of the graph so when we design uh, networks so we want to avoid the articulation points or rather we are given a computer network and we want to know how safe or how reliable the network is run uh, dfs and identify the presence of articulation points if there are articulation points uh, then uh, the network can tolerate uh, only one node failure meaning uh, the tolerance level is uh, pretty less and uh, if a node uh, fail a, some some node that node is called articulation point if that node uh, fail then the network is down so naturally we want to design network uh, without having uh, articulation points so that even if uh, some nodes fail the network is uh, still active so in the design of fault tolerant systems reliable uh, computer networks the algorithms that uh, list all articulation points efficiently are of use and natural uh, algorithm is the one that uses uh, dfs as a black box on the similar line uh, we have cut edges or bridges which we shall see next